Now at five, swindle. My daughter had called and she said, oh my God, that you should have never done that. A pair of women preying on the elderly. I had my card in my hand. I wasn't going to give it to her, but she took it. Tonight, the all out search for that duo on a door to door crime spree. And police say those women were out for one thing, credit cards. But that crime spree actually began on the phone. CBS 4's Peter Dench is live in Sunrise, where those scam artists have been choosing their victims. Peter. Well, Rudabay, this is a flyer right here that Sunrise police are circulating. There's a reward of up to $3,000. If you can help find this, women police say they swindled as many as 30 people over a two-week period out of their debit and credit cards. And we have brand new surveillance tape of them. Look closely at the two women in this Target store. Sunrise police say surveillance cameras captured them making cash withdrawals and buying a 60-inch Samsung TV while using a victim's bank card. Another angle shows them leaving the store as a clerk carries the TV in a box. I think that's awful. 84-year-old Michael Semko was a victim of this scam that prompts a bulletin and this reward flyer. Detectives say these two women are wanted for using the stolen cards of as many as 30 residents of the Sunrise Lakes retirement community. Victims are called by people claiming to be fraud investigators from banks. If we're going to send somebody over to pick up your card and we figure it, <clears throat> we program it, and me like a stupid jerk, I said, okay, because I was just got up from a nap. Semco was told his card would be returned. Instead, it was used to charge $800 worth of items. How did she get the PIN number? How could she it, charge? Yeah, I don't know. Karen Woodward says one of the suspects came to her apartment claiming that she needed to recheck her debit card. And I wasn't going to give it to her, but she took it, and I wasn't going to run. They used it at uh, Walmart. And they used it at the ATM at Wells Fargo. They rattled off my PIN number. I don't know how they got my PIN number. The best advice I can give is if somebody calls you representing the bank, tell them thank you for the information and then hang up on them. Anytime that the bank's going to contact you, you can always verify it on your own. Police say the suspects wore medical scrubs. I feel violated. I feel I'm a smart woman and I got taken in. I hope they get caught and hope they get prosecuted. Again, if you believe there's fraud in your account, contact your bank directly and never give out personal information over the phone. Now, there could be other victims. That's because thousands of people live here at the Sunrise Lakes community. If you've seen the women in that surveillance tape, call Broward Crime Stoppers at 954-493-TIPS. We're live in Sunrise, Peter Dench, CBS 4 News.